In this video, we will learn about the drawing tools related to shapes. How to make a rectangle tool. We are using the rectangle tool here and we will explore the other options here. For the rectangle tool, the keyboard shortcut is M and on the left toolbar, we can also see there is a rectangle tool here. There are so many shapes we can draw. Adobe Illustrator gives us these uh, um, tools. So rectangle tool is uh, M. If we press M and if we drag the cursor, it makes a rectangle. If we press the shift button, it will give us square. And uh, how do we make rounded rectangle or rounded square? For that, we will go to selection tool, press V. And if you see here, there are some circles highlighted here. We just have to drag it inside and see they are rounded. They have been rounded and the square is rounded. Here's in the similar way we will do with the rectangle. We will drag the, these circles inside and the rectangle has become a rounded rectangle. Now we will see what are the other tools. Polygon tool. If we go to the this icon, we will see there is a polygon tool. Press shift and here is a hexagon. It has made by default. If you want to uh, change the number of sides. So what we will do, we'll just double click and we will reduce the number of sides or increase the number of sides. Here I can make octagon also. So here it is. This is the octagon. This is hexagon. We are done with this. Star tool is simple. Just go to the icon and press the shift button so that it will give us a perfect size of star. And even with the star, double click and we can have a different uh, size, different points of stars. Let's see how it comes. Let's go to star points we can change the radius also right now if i want to make 12 point star so this has appeared here it's that simple and easy okay how do we make an ellipse tool the sh keyboard shortcut is l i forgot to correct this this is l if you press L or if we go in the toolbar, the ellipse tool is here. Press shift, it will give us a perfect circle. And if we want an oval shape, so for that, we will not press the shift button. And press L, drag here, and it will give us an oval. Now we are going to explore the shaper tool. There is another icon beneath the shapes tool is shaper tool, pencil tool, smooth tool, path eraser tool and joint tool. One by one we will explore what is it and how does it work. In shaper tool, suppose uh, if I am working uh, and I'm making any illustration. So like uh, what I'll do is um, with pencil. Okay, first let's explore what is pencil tool. It's just like a pencil we use and digitally if we want to draw an, uh, an illustration. So it will give us these shapes. Let me give the color so that we can see what we are working on. If I want to make waves, It will turn like this. The pencil tool is that easy and the keyboard shortcut is N. The shaper tool, what it does, 
that it will straighten the line whatever is curved so see what it will do let's see if i am just dragging it and making an illustration it will turn into a straight line or it will give us a shape hope you get it now now the other tool is the smooth tool if any of the curvy lines you want smoothness over there if it's somewhere you see the jagged line it will smooth it out suppose if i am making an illustration and if i bring the smooth tool for it and i just go over it give me a zoom here it's pointy line here if i want to just smooth it will just smooth out it doesn't work that much properly with me but it does work especially if we work closely okay now the next tool is um, the path eraser tool path eraser tool will just erase the path between the line here it is see hi here we go i'll check path eraser tool what's doing i think i have to select it first path eraser tool it will it's not working here right now when i was doing it was happening let's see later what is it join tool it's quite easy you just have to make a shape and if you want to join all those lines separate lines to a shape the join tool will help us out suppose i'm just randomly using a pencil tool to make a rectangle and if suppose if it's going out so the join tool will help me out to make uh the rectangle see if i zoom it has made a rectangle so it's that easy if you want to make more let's go to pencil tool if i want to make Uh, what is the shape if we want to make so i'll take join tool i think it will do like this the triangle is over there the edges are removed so we have covered the shaper tools the next tool is shape builder tool what it does shape builder tool keyboard shortcut is shift m if we have some shapes and if you want to make them one shape suppose if i want to make a house or a, like supposedly i go there in the polygon tool for house i need uh, a triangle let's remove this it's by mistake i have got the triangle here and if i need another rectangle i'll make a rectangle here it's one door if we have a one door house over here and if i want to this these are both separate shapes if i want to make it one shape so i will use the shape builder tool let me give it a color Mm, give it another color let's see this is another color and if i want to make one shape i'll use shift m it will okay 
one thing I've learned here right now in front of you that both should be the same color. Let's see. Will it do it now? Shift M, the shape builder tool. It should be joining together. Shift M. Now, let's see, are they joined together? Shift M, or we really can use it as M. I have already selected Shift M. And if we select both of the shapes and turn, like select both shapes with the shape builder tool, it will become one shape like that. If you want to extend more shapes for the house, I will use, um, Let's see with another color light right now. Mm. If I want to choose another color, so let's select everything. Shift M, it will join the shapes to become a separate shape. So we are done with the shape builder tool. The now last tool we are going to learn is about um, type tool. The keyboard shortcut for type tool is um, T. If we just press the T, it's also on the left toolbar there are so many um, options for it type tool area type tool type on path tool so let's see if I just want to write um, essential tools Part three, Adobe Illustrator. I can easily um, change the font also, the size also. Let's delete this. I can change the font also and size with type, font. I have so many fonts and I have also downloaded Creative Cloud types, uh, tools, also, uh, fonts also, which are free for us. My favorite is the Adobe handwriting. It's very nice. I can change the size also. I can change the color, of course. And of course, there are glyphs also for other punctuation if you want, the capital and everything. I, right now, I'm not interested. I want to show you something very interesting. If I want to type on a path, suppose if I making um, an ellipse tool, take let's ellipse tool, shift, and if I want to type on it, type on path, I just have to, um, it's written here, type on a path tool. So I can type here also. Adobe Illustrator tutorials. And if I want to type here, it's coming out. If I want to cut with the scissor, I can cut this also. Let's see how it will turn out. I can cut the shape also. Let's make like this. Type on path tool. By 
uh, did you divide so you can adjust the size and fonts and color over here also it's so fun to do this So today we have covered the essential tools related to shapes. We have covered the type tool. We have covered the rectangle tool, rounded rectangle, ellipse tool, shaper tool, and most importantly, the shape builder tool, which helps the shapes, the many shapes to one shape. I also use for coloring inside many shapes together it saves time so in next video see you soon and we will be covering the last part of the toolbar which is going to be more interesting and then we will head towards the pattern designing see you next time let's talk about path eraser tool suppose if we uh, draw anything with the pencil tool And if we use path eraser tool to erase the path between the path the little part of path so this is kind of so it removes whatever we want to remove uh, this is somewhat uh, have a similar functionality like an eraser tool and we have also learned the erasing tool scissor tool so this is used for just disconnecting the two parts so whatever we want to um, erase from the path